Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andy from Catagenics. It's Friday, the I guess the 18th. I don't know exactly what day it is today, but I got a lot of driving to do. I figured that I would take the opportunity to talk a little bit about hemp, uh, the endocannabinoid system, the role that it plays in our health. Trying to add some informational stuff to the page here. Uh, so the foundations of the endocannabinoid system is really the foundation of our biological processes. For a long time, it was widely taught and practiced that the endocrine system was the basis of the homeostasis of your body and your body's functions, your nervous system, your immune system. How your different systems interact together. We now know that the endocrine system is not the basis, the foundation of your physiological function, but the endocannabinoid system is. Your endocannabinoid system regulates your endocrine system. So your body, on a cellular level, makes cannabinoids. Same stuff in the cannabis plant. There's CBD, CBG, CBN, CBA. These cannabinoids interact with cells on receptors that are called the CB1 receptor and the CB2 receptor. What happens on this cellular level is, let's see, we have to start talking about cell life also when you're talking about the cannabidiol and the cell receptors and the communication and things of that nature. Your cell life is controlled by really almost like thermostats, little rheostats that control when the cells divide, how long the cell lives. So when you hear about people taking cannabis oil for the benefit of fighting cancer, what's happening that cellular level is the cannabinoids turn up the metabolic pressure on these cancer cells. It supercharges the life cycle, basically, and forces them not to commit suicide or kill themselves, but it forces their life cycle. It forces the cell death and stops the regeneration. So when you see in combinations with chemos and uh, other treatments, uh, the cannabinoids are very beneficial in, in that process, in the, the cell function process. So I'm trying not to uh, crash the car here while I drive. We can talk about the wide range of benefits from antioxidant properties to antibiotic properties, general wellness, um, cannabinoids and THC and hemp oils are very beneficial for a wide range of conditions and symptoms because of the endocannabinoid system. It is the basis of our functions. When you hear people talking about, oh, this one oil can't be good for all that, it's snake oil, there's no way that one plant or one product can can help treat so many different things. And I, when I hear that, I, I laugh a little bit inside, especially when I hear it from uh, pr practicing doctors. Because if they were true practicing physicians and kept up to date with medical journals and such, they would know about the endocannabinoid system. They would know why these cannabinoids work on such a wide range of symptoms and ailments, and also why there's such an important aspect of preventative care. A lot of individuals start looking at hemp oil uh, as a, after the fact, as treatments. When adding hemp foods and CBD 
rich extracts to your regular diet and health regimen can go a long way in the terms of preventative care. I'm sure we'll see in the coming years a lot more information and studies made available uh, pertaining to that. And as that stuff becomes available, we put it up on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash canagenics and facebook.com forward slash Keystone Canna Products. We're going to be launching our blog in a little bit. Uh, the blog will be on KeystoneCannaProducts.com. So you can expect to see some more information and guidance through those avenues. I think that's all for right now. I'm going to jump off the highway. It's good talking to you guys. We'll catch up soon.